Hauserplatz is located in Copenhagen Center. In 2009, the city of Copenhagen took the untraditional decision of creating a new workplace beneath Hauserplatz for the city's cleaning facility center. A beautiful hole in the ground was created, and surrounding it is a new children's playground. Although it may not be evident anymore, there is a lot of history of Hauserplatz. Originally a thriving coal market located directly in the city center, the square was left open following an 1807 bombing by the British. Plans were made to develop the square, but it was left empty until 1957 when the nearby housing units were torn down to make room for the old public library. The library separates Hauserplatz from the larger and more populated Kotrovit to the west. In 2011, the square was developed into a playground for children, and the underground parking structure was repurposed to become the headquarters for the Copenhagen City Cleaning Facility Center. Along the perimeter of the square are three restaurants, two cafes, a theater, the old public library, and two office buildings. And the playground is the life of the square. The playground almost resembles a Teleshevi landscape, said the DAC. Those who are responsible for the design of the square like to take a lot of credit for creating a green oasis with lots of space for adults, but most definitely for children too, and for optimizing the natural influx of natural daylight with the amoebic shape of the courtyard for the below-ground cleaning services. when it's like gray and gray. but I think in the weekends people do sit outside for maybe a bit longer because um, like in the weekdays it's people like have to work and stuff so yeah. they come by sit quickly and then leave again on the weekend it might look more full because people just stay and chill in the sun do you know this? they tend to be the parents of the kids playing on the thing, or is it? well sometimes it, it is but most of the parents I think like take a get a to go copy, take them with yeah. um, to the playground. Uh, sometimes they also like to borrow a copy, they bring them back for yeah. um. However, due to the rigid structure of the square, including buildings of similar heights on all sides, and the playground takes up around three quarters of the square's total area at the center, there is not much variability in the square to work with. What little effect the sunlight does have on the square can be seen with the scarcity of outdoor seating being clustered on the northern edge of the square between the cafes and the sole bench in the park. The restaurants located along the southern wall do not even attempt outdoor seating. The only other place to sit down are the concrete benches under the public library that are primarily occupied by smokers, the only group that can be considered regulars besides the children. Our group's evaluation of the square is that it is largely undervalued since most people use it as a cut through to Norport and surrounding areas. We disagree with the assessment made by DAC, which said that there is a lot of space for adults in the square. Rather, the square seems to be not utilized to its full potential. It is designed with purely the children's area in mind and leaving the rest of the square lacking in character or use. If more seating was provided, especially by restaurants on the edge of the square, more adults would stay and utilize the space, making it more accessible and usable. That being said, it is still pleasant and convenient to walk through in our experience. The playground area gives the square many memorable qualities, and the focus on giving children space to have in the city is an essential aspect. Overall, Hauserplatz is a valuable square to have in the city center, despite its shortcomings. It will make no sense for Hauserplatz to mirror the more well-known cultural bit by focusing seating, even though that would be the most obvious improvement right now.